Hi folks, I'm from HighlandAndroid.com where we get on Android every day. Uh, anyway, I've got an update on the Galaxy Note 2 series. Um, looking pretty good. This is the CM12 I featured last uh, month. Uh, for the Sprint and Verizon version, um, these are actually official versions now and they're actually really, really solid. Let me actually adjust my camera because it's actually picking up those hertz there. Um, the blinking is actually caused by my camera. It's doesn't. It's not actually um, when you see it with the human eye. Uh, you see it like that there. It's just my settings was the shutter focus or whatever is uh, messed up. Anyway, um, looking really good for Sprint and Verizon is near flawless. Um, these are built by S uh, XA user S Brain. Uh, very good developer. Um, so definitely it is a go now. It is really really solid. And also everything just working out of the box, camera, video recording, um, camera, still camera during video also. So camera works really well, uh, everything, data, Bluetooth, NFC, also N22 scores, uh, near 29,000 for all of these. Now if you're running, uh, if you're not running Sprint or Verizon, there is no official versions. Uh, there is a new ROM that I can recommend. Uh, this is called a UB Team. Uh, UB Team's unofficial build of the CM12. And this is actually nearly identical to this one, but I haven't actually found better than this one yet for uh, if you have a GTN 7100, this is a GTN 7100. Or if you have the international GTN 7105, or if you have the AT&T or T-Mobile Note 2, or Canadian Note 2. Um, go ahead and definitely try this one. Uh, this one actually is basically CM12 along with uh, many more features, which is really nice. Now, for those of you with lock bootloaders, um, you're out of lock, you can't flash AOSP ROMs. Um, you should have rooted your phone when you got it, you know, and never upgraded it to, to the OTA. Otherwise, you can't try cool ROMs like this. Too bad. Uh, anyway, here we go. Um, in the settings, you'll find slightly different from the regular CM12 because because the UB ROM adds uh, a lot more features, which is why it's really cool. Let me go ahead and show you side by side. Uh, one on the left is the stock CM12. All right, one on the right uh, is the UB ROM. So you'll find some extras here. Yeah. All right, uh, so launcher is different. You can go ahead and change the launcher. Status bar, uh, pretty much the same, but you have super user indicator at the bottom and also network traffic. Um, so some extra stuff and also you can enable battery bar if you want. Actually a lot more stuff. That's why I like this one. This ROM is really cool. But it's, this one is not available or, or spin or Verizon. Uh, but the regular CM12 official is really awesome also. It's uh, very, very good. All right, let me go ahead and show you uh, audio effects app. It, UBROM comes with the uh, audio FX app, which is a really good app for tweaking your sound. Um, this was actually taken from a one plus one. And also advanced settings, you'll find additional stuff like app bar. Um, this, uh, you'll be able to uh, change your density and also gesture anywhere. Uh, lock screen options, additional lock screen options. A recents panel, you can go ahead and change the recents locations, bottom left, bottom right, all that good stuff. So now it's bottom left, there you go. All right, and also screen and animation, you can set custom animations, screen recording. Um, so you can see UB uh, Teams ROM is way uh, more customization, and I would say this is like nearly flawless in terms of performance, battery life. Everything just working out of the box, and the camera working great also um, likewise on this one. They're actually pretty much the same ROMs, but this one is built uh, for more customization. Oops, we got a force close there. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, it's just first time you run it, it might happen, uh, but it wasn't doing that earlier. And video camera working just fine here. So this for this week's yes, definitely check it out. Um, CM12 for Sprint or Verizon users, the latest nightly, and also for those of you with uh, all the other variants, definitely try it out. UB Team, very solid ROM, love it. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, there, I'm not covering TouchWiz ROMs lately because you know um, 
it's not being updated that often. So, but I will have some for Verizon and AT&T users who are on lock bootloader soon. In the meanwhile, help yourself. There is a couple good ones on XDA. Um, if you're still running ROM like a DN4 and you want to keep it that way, that's fine too. But I'm just giving you more options. Uh, if you want to run the latest Android 5.0.2 Lollipop, these options are great. Running near flawless, um, we're at that point, you know, when Lollipop just came out, it wasn't that solid. Now it is really, really solid, highly recommended as daily driver. And performance improvements are awesome. You literally can turn your Note 2 into a beast. Um, so somewhere between Note no 2 and 3, so like turn it into Note 2.5 if you run any of these ROMs. So definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the Weekend. Do let me know what you think. And thanks guys for watching this video. This is my second YouTube channel covering the ROMs and my extra videos. If you want to see my main videos, go ahead and subscribe uh, to my main channel over at Zetomex, uh, where I cover stuff like the Nexus 6, the Note Edge, uh, Note 4, and all of the latest Android gadgets. And I will see you guys soon. As always, stay on Android.